from Wilbo's World Studios in New York, it's Late Night Crossing with Wilbo's World! Featuring lo-fi music from Demon Gummies. Hello and welcome everyone to a new series. In this series, I wanted to showcase people's talents in the Animal Crossing world. So a lot of people have like hidden talents, like some people are artists that play Animal Crossing. Some people are expert builders that came over to Animal Crossing with the design skills of, you know, legends. So I wanted to showcase all of those talents. And in this first episode, we're going to be talking to Touch of Geekery, who is a bulletin board artist. She creates these beautiful bulletin board drawings with just four colors. You know, she does really well with her drawings. And I wanted to get into her head a little bit, you know, see how she creates the drawings. And yeah, so why don't you introduce yourself, Touch of Geekery? Uh, what do you call yourself in game? And what's your like uh, social media name? My name is Lexi. Um, on Twitter, I go by Touch of Geekery. And on Animal Crossing, I go by Delphine um, from La Syrian. I, I was just wondering what inspires you to make the bulletin board drawings and uh, post them online? Um, originally, I was just like super bored one day. And so I was at my friend's island messing around on her bulletin board. And I was originally using just the Switch controller, which is really hard to do anything with. But I was kind of like intrigued. It's hard to do, you know. So I was like, well, maybe I can like challenge myself to get better at this. Right. Yeah. I, I was so like, I was so confused when you were like, oh yeah, I use a pro controller. It's like, what? How do you draw with that? And do you like it better than using tablet mode or do you like both? Um, tablet mode is terrible. I don't really? recommend anyone use wow. it. Yeah. With the <laughs> with the analog sticks, honestly, I didn't I didn't even realize it at first. The only reason I switched to a pro controller is because my analog stick started drifting. Um, but honestly, it's it's really hard to use. The controls aren't like very smooth versus a pro controller. It's very smooth. It's a lot more precise, um, which I didn't even notice. Like, it's not something you really notice until you do something like this. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you're saying that because I would figure tablet mode, you're drawing with like a pen or something or like your finger. Uh, I find it kind of hard to see what I'm doing when I'm drawing with my finger. Yeah. But I, I've is never that the reason? I've never, I've never tried um, a stylus. I know you can use a cap capacitive stylus. Yeah. And some people do it like that, but I, I don't have one. So I just got used to the controller. Um, okay. A finger, I can't use my finger at all. It gets in the way. I don't think it's, it's like, you know. <laughs> yeah. I think I asked like, what inspires you? What, like, what do you like to draw the most on your bulletin board? Um, I like to challenge myself to draw different things every time. Um, but for the most part, I really enjoy drawing things like Zelda or Disney, just something I'm really familiar with. I love Zelda games. Um, but anything I'm super familiar with, I'm a lot better at doing. Um, but I always like to try and challenge myself to do something different every time. I feel like that's the only way I improve. A lot of the times they're like specifically requested by people. Um, like they'll ask for something like right. they want Winnie okay. the Pooh and, and it'll be up to me to decide how he's drawn. But that's the general, that's like how I get the ideas. Okay, uh, that, that kind of leads into my next question. Do you do these for like commission or do you do them for free? Um, I do them for free just because I was doing them mostly for fun. Um, and then people started to really like them. So at this point, I have like way too many incoming requests. So I only <laughs> yeah. do them based off of giveaways now, which I just okay. recently switched to. They're still free, but like I can't, if I took on every single request, I would be busy for like a year. So yeah, you do a lot of art in Animal Crossing, but do you also do art in real life? I noticed actually you're doing this. Uh, I saw this shoe that you're working on. Yeah. With the bands you got, <laughs> and yeah. it lo it's looking so good so far. Thank you. I do. Um, I actually I'm a decorator at a bakery, so already oh. for work I decorate cupcakes. But like in real life, I also do a lot of traditional art, painting like the shoes I'm doing right now. So okay, it bleeds into a lot of my life. And um, uh, do you have uh, do you post any of that online? Any of your art that you do in real life besides like the art related to Animal Crossing? Yeah. Um, so mostly Twitter is really new. I started that when I started Animal Crossing. So um, a lot of my older stuff is mostly like on Instagram. I have a lot of uh, older 
painted shoes, painted wallets, stuff that I've done in the past. Um, but I'm, I don't know. I Most of what I'm doing right now is just centered around Animal Crossing because I'm a little obsessed. <laughs> yeah, as is most of the world right now. <laughs> Do you have any advice for people who are wanting to make bulletin board drawings like yours? Um, yes, the the questions I get the most is what are you used to draw with? So I would say either try a pro controller or try a capacitive stylus. Um, the other question is like people always say that they run out of ink really fast. Um, and the thing about that is you actually have enough ink to cover your entire board. The trick is to not lay like overlap your colors because they will just lay on top of each other and waste ink you have to really be mindful of erasing and not overlapping lines um that's the thing that will save you the most ink and that's the thing people have the most trouble with i feel like is just running out of ink oh i didn't actually know that so the thing the ink under the ink doesn't go away it just it does not go away yeah um and how do you work with like the color constraints that you have? Because there's only four colors available, sadly. Um, honestly, I just like if I'm, I always use references. And if I'm looking at a picture and I'm trying to draw something that's like green or something that's a color I don't have, I always think in my head, what's the closest color in the color wheel to that specific color? So if I'm doing like grass, normally green, I would usually go with either yellow or blue because they're right next to each other in the color wheel. So I think you just need to have like a basic understanding of how the wheel works. It will help you a lot. Just imagine like what color is closest to that one in the color wheel. And then also leave a lot of white spots for highlights um, and always outline everything. It gives it a lot more definition. So would you recommend using the eraser at all? Like uh, to make the white space or do you just recommend drawing lines around and creating the white space that way. Yeah, I would say it's a lot better to create white space first and draw okay. around it because the eraser isn't very... Um, yeah, accurate. A no, it's not. <laughs> so try if you know that you're going to have white space there, try and go around it instead of coloring it in. You also make custom patterns, which are very pretty. You make like very pretty like gradients I've seen and um, scripts, art. So I was wondering, how, what's your process behind making custom patterns like that? Mostly I like try to find inspiration um, for what I'm trying to create. I always, I always try to use a reference of some sort to help me. Um, when I was making the uh, alphabet, I used a font reference and then I turned it into uh, pixels. And then I kind of like referenced that to create um, a pixel art in the game, but it's a lot easier for me um, to work off of a reference and sometimes to work off a reference that's turned into pixels originally um, instead of like trying to make something up on my own. But that's a, a really big tip I would say is if you're struggling with pixel art, um, either go look for like um, pixel patterns already or find a picture you like and turn it into a pixelized picture and use that as a reference. Yeah, and I noticed you you also drew like a line above, in your tutorial at least, you drew a line above each letter to see how, how much length you wanted to use to combine the patterns together. Yeah. Um, how did you, I'm, I'm just curious, how did you like uh, determine the length of each letter? Did you just convert it beforehand or were you just converting it on the fly? Like, uh, so... I created the entire alphabet first, and then I counted out um, all of the pixels. Okay. And so I just based it off of how many pixels were in each um, letter. That way, when I, because I, when I placed them down, they went into four patterns instead of you know being spaced nicely in two. So it was, it just made it easier for me to space everything out, knowing how big the letters were going to be in advance. Yeah, thank you so much. I think that's uh, that's all the questions I have for you today about your art. I uh, Oh, and you have a YouTube channel too that you recently started, right? Yeah, I'll probably do a lot more of the bulletin art. Um, and I'm not really sure what, what else I plan to do with it, but um, you know, it's new. I'll explore. Um, if you want, we could do like a competition really quick. I was thinking we could draw 
one of your favorite villagers, which is Bob, you told me. Um, yeah. <laughs> so we have like five minutes to draw it. It might not come out great since it's only five minutes, but I just figured why not? <laughs> it could be fun. And go. Okay, so we have five minutes. <laughs> All right. I don't know if you could like talk during this, if, if it would distract you too much. <laughs> No, I don't think so. Okay. I mean, five minutes, we're going to create masterpieces <laughs> I anyway, know, right? right? Bob has kind of like a smirk, I guess. Always. Yeah, he does. <laughs> oh, he looks favorite, drunk on my screen. Things. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Bada bing. Bada boom. Uh, uh. This Okay. All right. <laughs> it's it's all right. Have you ever done like a time challenge like this where you have to No. Draw? Okay. <laughs> so, at least I'm not alone here. <laughs> it's, it's a bob. Oh no, dude. And almost time. You got like 5 more seconds. Wow. <laughs> Try to wrap up. And time. Okay. Give your honest opinion on my bob. Oh <laughs> Listen, five minutes is not enough. I had to draw a rough, rough He's outline. He's so cute, though. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so his, his mouth is... His arms are very... Um, spaghetti? Yeah, spaghetti. That's a good word for them. <laughs> I think he's... I think he's cute. I think he's cute. <laughs> what? You drew that in five minutes? Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I didn't get very many details in, but he's at least I, mostly colored. I don't know. Is it is it comparable? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess we'll let we'll let the comments decide. You know who drew the better Bob? I, there's clearly one choice here. Your your Bob is very endearing. I will say that. <laughs>